here for CAA football. The blitz as we continue. And he may go to this next Terrence Rush. You're put yourself in a situation to win a lot of football games. CAA football, the blitz, 11 teams in 11 days continues today with the James Madison Dukes. I'm Bobby Broyles, joined by Scott Meyer. And Scott, when we look at the JMU Dukes, they were a team last year looking to get back into the playoffs. They did, especially with a big, strong finish to the end of the regular season last season. Yeah, you got to look at that season last year. It's kind of almost a roller coaster, but very successful end. I think a large portion of that success came from that middle portion that forced that team to come together when Justin Thorpe was suspended. It, yeah, they might not have had the success that they wanted inside of that five game stretch, but it was almost like a forcing the team to build chemistry when Justin Thorpe comes back. That's when they got the ball rolling, got into the playoffs. Tough loss there at the end, but certainly something to build off of going into 2012. Head coach Mickey Matthews talked about his team and how they finished up in 2011. Take a listen. Well, of course, you're, what you're talking about is when you know Justin Thorpe was suspended for five games and certainly was a, a, a difficult five games when he didn't play, and uh, we, we probably I thought we handled it pretty well. We just weren't good enough to win, and we lost three of five. But we, we finished strong. You know, I, I thought we played uh, really well towards the end and ran into a really good North Dakota State team up in the, in the second round up there. You know, it was probably the, that was really the only tight game they had in the tournament. So whatever that means, but uh, we, we, we played very strong at the end. The Dukes last season were very strong on the defensive side of the football. Stephon Robertson, a very talented linebacker, but not getting much recognition nationally. Yeah, that's one thing about James Madison's defense. The last name that kind of stands out for JMU was Arthur Motes, a Buck Buchanan winner. But Stephon Robertson kind of is surrounded by a lot of great players. JMU defensively is one that likes to play with a lot of speed and a lot of talented guys on that defense but they all play together, swarm to the football, and make plays. Stefan Robertson is no doubt one of their best players, if not the best, certainly deserving of some national recognition, which I think if the success plays out like Coach Matthews sees, he will be a name to look for at the end of the year. Coach Matthews addressed his defense and why Stefan may be sliding under the radar nationally. Well, you know, we were 80 yards a game better than the second place team. In the you know, total yardage a game, which shows you we were fairly dominant defense, defensive football team last year. And I think that really hurts a guy like Stefan. He's surrounded by a lot of good football players. You know, you see some guys who, who are on some of those lists and they really played on some poor defensive football teams. And basically, if they didn't make the tackle, it wasn't going to get made. So they have big numbers after the game. And Stefan is not that way. He's surrounded by some really good football players. It probably hinders his efforts to to be on some of those lists. Uh, I think Stefan can play. I mean, he's very intense, uh, good pass defender, good run defender. Uh, football is a high priority in his life. Uh, we like Stefan. Coach Matthews with some high praise for his starting inside linebacker. Scott, we look at JMU overall. There's a lot of talent. Can they put it together this year and make a run for a CAA title? I don't think there's any doubt about it. James Madison will be one of those teams in the mix for our championship, for the national championship at the end of the year. But they have to stay healthy. That's the biggest key here. Well, because they play with so much speed and depend on so much speed, they have to stay healthy so that they don't get into the back half of their roster, can keep guys healthy, and play at the highest level every week. The big momentum coming off of that playoff push last year, a lot of guys back, a lot of skill guys back and key positions back, but I think health is the biggest question mark. Uh, and that's the case for all of our top teams is staying healthy and being able to maintain that consistency week in and week out. JMU will open their season at home Saturday night, September the 1st at 6 o'clock as they play host to St. Francis, PA. Two teams remaining to break down in our 11 teams in 11 days series. Tomorrow we take a look at the Old Dominion Monarchs and see what Bobby Wilder's team has in store for their second season in conference play. For Scott Meyer, I'm Bobby Broyles. Stay tuned to CAA Football The Blitz.